Good morning. Thanks for watching the Weekly Beacon by East Cooper Student News. I'm Emma Brooks. We're going to get you caught up on all the football action, shine a spotlight on one outstanding East Cooper student, and tell you about a big clothing drive sponsored by HOSA that all kids east of the Cooper can help with. It all is coming up right now. Thanks for watching the Weekly Beacon. This week, CAS teacher Miss Ainsley is happy to recognize Haley Levins for the CAS Student Spotlight. Haley is serving as this year's DECA president, and Miss Ainsley says she stepped up and been a leader in getting the Beacon market up and running this year. Um, it feels great knowing she appreciates all the work that I'm doing. I spend a lot of time working in the school store and working on all the DECA stuff that we have for this year. She was there since day one and getting the Beacon Market set up and running again for this year. And she's been crucial in getting our DECA chapter up and running. We now have over 82 members in our DECA chapter and without her leadership, we would not have reached those goals. I plan the meetings, plan what we're gonna talk about, create all the slideshows, as well as um, planning all the events that DECA does and signing everyone up for right now regionals. You can find Haley working at the Beacon Market during third block and most mornings at the CAS. Another group at the CAS that's having success in October is HOSA. They're sponsoring a clothing drive this month because October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. They're accepting items including outerwear, footwear, underwear, accessories, and handbags. HOSA set a goal of collecting 500 items of clothing, and if you can't tell by the heaps of clothing on your screen, they've already passed that goal and want to keep going. We are doing this to help the victims of domestic abuse um, get clothing and anything else that they need. I set the goal kind of thinking that 500 would be kind of a long shot, but seeing that in pretty much three days we've already surpassed that goal, um, I am truly ecstatic and very proud of my team members. All donations will go directly to My Sister's House, which is a local sheltering organization for domestic violence survivors. You can drop your donations in room J225 at the CAS or room 304 at Lucy Beckham. For every five articles of clothing you donate, you can earn 30 minutes of community service with a maximum of two hours. If you have any questions, you can visit or email Ms. Parker. On the football field, Beckham's football program has had a great season so far, dominating teams at the District 2 Stadium and on the road. The Bengals got off to a 5-0 start, including a big 42-6 win against region opponent May River. Much of their success is coming on the running game. Stefan Seegers is averaging more than 130 rushing yards a game, and Charles Bird is averaging more than 90 rushing yards per game. The Bengals will be on the road Friday to take on Hilton Head. Meanwhile, Wanda will be back to home Friday night to host Stratford. This past Wednesday, Wanda held a club fair in the bus loop during all lunches. Different student organized clubs made an appearance, promoting their club with the hopes that you might join one soon. Oh, dude, like, I've seen so many people come up, it's awesome. Like, uh, there's so many people here that it's a great place to do it, and people don't have a lot to do during lunch um, once they're done eating. So, you know, might as well come over here and, you know, listen to some music. Um, and, yeah, I've gotten a lot of people taking my flyers recently, so it's awesome. I think that one of the greatest things that our kids can do is participate in these clubs because it really gives them an opportunity to explore so much more in their day. And I'm so excited that the administration is supportive of this. And as you can see, it's a great party. There's a lot of wonderful things going on here. There's a raffle where they can win $50 gift card to Chick-fil-A. So I hope they all come out and participate. We will have more on one new club found at Wando on our monthly episode of ECSN which will be available on October 27th. That's all for this week's episode of The Weekly Beacon. We'll see you next Wednesday. Reporting for ECSN, I'm Emma Brooks.